Okay, so this video, I'm gonna show you how to stake time. So I already have my wallet connected in here. So let's just go back to the, let's go to the first step. I use crypto.com to buy the coin that I need so that I can stake time. So the first thing I do is I go to crypto.com. All right. And crypto.com, I buy Avalanche right here. You need Avalanche to stake time. So you buy this. Once you have it, once you have it, you transfer it out. Right. external wallet withdraw avax i already have it in here because i put the address in i already did all this so i got it in there so the first thing after you after you board it and you send it to the trust wallet some of y'all might have an issue maybe it might not pop up or whatever in here after you do it you see i have it right there i have one penny in there so if you don't see it make sure you go click up here and you turn it and you turn it on. You find Avalanche and you turn it on. Right here, you see? C, Avalanche C chain. So this is what you're gonna see in the trust wallet. So you're gonna take that Avalanche from crypto.com. You're gonna send it here. Once you got it in here, okay? You go to this website now. Wonderland, Wonderland Money, Wonderland.money. And once you get here, you click on time and then it's going to say buy on trader joe now if you click on this and it doesn't say anything that's because you haven't bought avax yet make sure you have some avax so you got to have avax before you can even get into all this part so you hit that buy at trader joe's it's going to take you to another website and this is where you're going to swap your coin from avax to time all right so this is just like any other swap. You're gonna connect. You're gonna connect your wallet. You see that there? You connect your wallet, and once it's connected, your AVAX should pop up here. And um, you can transfer it to, to, to time. Now, there's another issue that I found that people have been dealing with when they're connecting to, when you're trying to connect to this page here. Once you connect your wallet, sometimes it might say that you're in the wrong network, right? It's gonna say wrong network up here. So I can't really show you exactly how to do it, but I'm gonna tell you. So if it says wrong network, like it did for me when I first was, was trying to do this, I was trying to do it from, from Google, right? And then every time I, I go in there, it would always just pop up, pop up, and I couldn't do nothing. So what I did was I went to Bing, and I pulled up the website again. This time, when you connect, right? When it takes you to Trust Wallet, when you go to Trust, when it when you press connect on here, and it takes you to Trust Wallet, and it, and it, and it, and it, and it's at, and then it, it says connect, right? Don't hit connect. There's gonna be a box like right there in the middle that's gonna say Ethereum on it. That means that you're in the Ethereum network. You have to change that. Change from the Ethereum network to the Avalanche network in order to connect to, to this. And then once you've done that, then you'll be able to connect the right way on here. So make sure y'all make sure y'all do that part right. Um, once you've done that and you connect your wallet in here, you already traded it for the time. You know, the coin you're gonna, is gonna basically pop up here. Once you hit max, it's gonna pop up here. Then you hit stake time and continue and then voila, it'll be, you know, what you got, it'll be in here. I only have about $400. That's what I got going on here. I'm getting about 9.77 return on my investment per five days, plus compound interest, you know, with that compound interest. So um, $400 is going to get me about 300,000, maybe close to 400,000 in a year. I'm going to put more than that because I want to have a few million by the end of the year, but um you don't have to put that much and that's how you that's how you uh handle this situation so any questions y'all got i mean post a comment i'll get to you